Hi, this is Tim from Infinity, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the 3D mech from the Genesis chair. Um, to do that, we're going to be taking off the back cover of the chair. We're going to be removing the hood of the chair, and we're also going to be taking the front covers off of the backrest so we can have access to the mech. Um, and the mech looks like this, and what we're going to be taking this out for is we might be taking this out to replace the arms, we might be taking this out to replace the walk motor, or any component of this, or the entire mech itself. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Uh, it's assumed at this point that the arms and the leg rest are off already on the chair. Uh, if you need instructions on how to disassemble the chair, those are provided in a different document. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the bolts from the back of the chair. There are two in each one of these handholds. There are two down here, and then lower down you'll see there's two more. So once you remove all eight bolts, the backrest will re remove completely. And once the eight screws are removed, you may find that the top is attached. You may have to give it a little bit of a tug. You'll see that there's some retainers up on the top, little ball and socket retainers. Just pull those off, and then the back piece will remove completely. For yeah. removal of the hood, what we're going to be doing is taking out the screws that you see along the top here in these two holes. There's also two screws down below that need to be removed. And then you're going to be removing these two electrical connectors, one on either side. And then as you follow this air hose down, we're going to be removing the air hose from the air valve. And once we do that, the hood will be able to lift straight off the chair from these hooks. There's hooks on the two hooks on either side. You just lift it out and remove it from the chair. So the next step is we need to access the front of the massage mat. So we're going to need to unzip this backrest cover and then we're going to want to unzip the silk that's underneath it. Uh, so we'll start with the backrest cover. You'll see that on either side there's a zipper. If you follow it, it goes all the way around to the front. Each side zipper is right along the front, so we'll just be unzipping this. You're going to find that when you get to the part where there's air hoses, you're going to need to just kind of be a little careful and sneak the zipper underneath those hoses for removal. We'll do the same on the other side. Carefully sneak it underneath the air hoses so you don't disconnect them. Now we have access to the undercover, we call it the silk, and this particular part does not have a handle to the zipper, so we use a special tool called a paper clip, and that's just inserted into the zipper so that it acts as a handle and we'll unlock the zipper, and then we're going to unzip the silk all the way up to the top. so that we can expose the massage mech as so. So now that we have the backrest silk and the backrest cover off, we can see the 3D mech here. And what we're needing to do here is remove the bracket that holds the strap on. It can't be taken out when the strap is in the way. So we're gonna take the two screws off and just remove this bracket. Okay, so the next step we're gonna be doing is we wanna remove this, this back pad so that we can get the mech out. And to do that, we've already removed these top screws. And then there's going to be three on each side. There's one here, one down here, one down here. And then on the other side, same locations. And once you remove those screws, you'll see that the backrest is fully mobile. You can push it out of the way. And we're going to need to do that because the next step is going to be removing this top panel right here. OK, so we're going to be removing this top bar. There are two screws on either side. I've removed a couple of them already for speed. I'll just be taking this one out here. And you'll see that the top bar becomes free once the screws are removed. You want to carefully remove it from the chair. And you want to remember the orientation that it's in. Make sure that you don't put it in backwards. It has to go this way. So we'll just keep an eye on what you're doing so that you put it back together in the same way. Okay, so at this point, there are going to be three scenarios for removing the massage mech from the chair. 
Uh, one scenario is if the massage mech motor is functional, we can use the remote control, we can power on the chair, and we can actually drive it up the track right out through the top. And we'll show you how to do that. The other scenario is if the motor is uh, unable to, to function, um, but is mobile, you can, it'll still roll. Uh, what we can do is we can remove the four screws on the front side of the mech, lower this motor down, and then you can use a power screwdriver with a flat head on it to actually run the motor manually and drive it up through the top of the chair. And then the third scenario is if the motor is completely jammed um, and is not moving, can't, can't be moved at all, what we need to do is actually take the motor apart. We're going to take the silver cap off of the motor, we're going to remove the stator inside the motor, and actually free up the transmission so that we can manually lift it out of the chair. Okay, so this, this procedure is for removing the mech if it is functional, if the motor is working. We're going to use the remote control to drive it out through the top of the chair. So we'll take the remote, we'll turn it on. We're going to go down to manual and hit OK. Under mode, we're going to go over to shiatsu mode. Select that. Goes back to the main menu. We're going to hit menu again. Go down to manual. Select that. Go to part. And we're going to change that from hole to point. Click OK. And then we can hit menu. And at this point, we'll be able to use the up and down adjust keys to actually go up and drive the mech straight out through the top of the chair. And this, this next procedure is uh, we're going to assume that the mech motor is not functional, but it is able to, to move. Electrically, it doesn't work, but it does turn the gears. Uh, because this is a 3D mech, the top of this motor is blocked, so we're going to have to find a way to move this down. To do that, we're going to come to the front of the mech around the front side. There's four obvious screws that hold this motor in place. If we remove those four screws, you'll find that you can lower this motor down so that we now have access to the top of the motor. And inside you'll see there's a flat, flat head screw. And you can take a drill with a flat head bit. You can put it right in there and we can actually turn it and drive the mech up and out of the chair. Okay, so at this point, uh, we've driven the mech up to the top until it starts bouncing. And that means it's reached the top of the track and it is ready to be removed from the chair. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to remove the wiring harness from the mech. And to do that, we just want to carefully cut off any zip ties that are attached very carefully. And then we're going to go to the connectors and you want to be very careful when you disconnect these that you connect them back in the correct orientation. So you may want to take a picture, you may want to write down what you're removing because they're color coded on one side, not color coded on the other. So you need to remember that blue goes to this motor, black goes to this motor, red goes to this motor so that you don't put them back together in the wrong orientation. And then you just cut off the small zip ties that are on these connectors. They have a little press area. You press and pull and they disconnect. And then all you need to do is remove the ground wire and then the mech is free to come out of the chair. So keep in mind if you're going to drive the mech out through the top of the chair uh, using the motor, you're going to need to either remove this magnet sensor by squeezing these little tabs here and actually removing the sensor, moving it out of the way, or alternatively you can remove this magnet and that will also allow you to drive out through the top of the chair without stopping at the sensor. Okay. So when you're raising up the mech, you want to make sure that these arms are out from under the front piece. You want to sort of move it forward as it comes up because as you can see it, it won't clear the, uh, the top piece. So we have it already in the correct position so that we can push it forward and the mech is at the top of the track so it can be removed and we're basically just going to lift it straight up and remove it directly out of the chair and now the mech is free okay so in this scenario the walk motor is completely seized the transmission is seized you can't drive it out you can't use the the remote to drive it out it's just not moving so in this scenario we're going to actually disassemble this motor to remove it from the chair so there are two screws at the bottom of the motor. These are number four metric 
Allen wrenches. You're going to remove those screws. I've already taken them out in this case. And you want to keep in mind that when this motor releases, this mech is going to be actually free, free rolling. It's going to fall down. So you want to use a vice grip on the track to hold it in place so that when it lets go, it won't fall. Um, so at this point, we've removed the screws. Uh, you might want to use a, a flathead screwdriver and just kind of move the little brackets out of the way. There are a couple brackets on the side that the screws go through. Um, you can move those out of the way to make it easier. The casing is held on magnetically, so it may not be easy to pull off. You might want to use some, some uh, pliers. Grab onto the top of the casing and then pull, and it will come right off of the motor, just leaving the stator in place. And at this point, you can pull the stator out and now the mech is completely free because this gear has been removed. So we can lift the massage mech completely out of the chair just as we could before when we drove it out. Ta-da!